SEC or Big Ten, we all know the ACC isn't going to last forever. Despite the fake confidence that comes out of the league office, we know what the future holds. We'll talk about it next. Hey guys, thank you as always for coming to the channel, for hanging out, and for watching this video. We just went over 200,000 views over the last month. That's been really, really cool. Going to continue to keep growing and putting out content for you all. Make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so that you don't miss when we drop new videos on conference realignment and other FSU news and issues. How much longer is the ACC going to last as a conference? I'm not really sure. I don't have the answer to that directly, but I do know that the grant of rights that is holding this house of cards up currently isn't going to last until 2036. You remember Jim Phillips' comments at the ACC kickoff in July? Remember when he sounded like he was giving a eulogy? And maybe he very well was because this conference seems to be dying day by day. When Mike Norvell took over the Florida State program, he was the right guy for the job. Fans didn't see it then, and they probably didn't see it after the team won eight games in the first two years. But oh boy, do they see it now. After winning nine games and getting FSU knocking on the door of a 10-win season and a top-10 finish, the Knowles are returning to the prominence they once knew. Norvell was right to take a pay cut during COVID. Norvell was right to trust himself and bet on himself that he could return this brand to being the iconic program that it is. But then you're left with the ACC. They think that their grant of rights is going to hold this conference together until 2036, but they're dead wrong. With every day that passes, the GOR gets weaker and the iconic brands like FSU get stronger and stronger and stronger. How much more attractive is the FSU brand to the SEC or the Big Ten right now? It's absolutely on another level. Heck, Florida State took two of the SEC's larger brands to the woodshed this year and has a great chance to do the same next year. The Atlantic Coast Conference can't even run a competent TV channel. And you think they can hold a conference together? Uh, have you guys watched the ACC Network? Have you seen their programming? It's an absolute joke. First of all, there are actual times that college football is going on in the ACC, and the channel will air replays of other sporting events while said game isn't televised. Have you heard the commentators in the ACC network? They're not all bad. We've spoken with some, and some of them do a really good job. But by and large, they are not good. Have you seen some of the commercials that are on? Go watch an hour of the SEC network and then do the same for the ACC network. I don't need underwater glasses or bacon you heat up in a cup in the microwave or nonstick cookware or heck, an invisibility cloak for e four easy payments of $19.99. It's absolutely horrible to watch. The ACC doesn't know how to hire competent reps, but yet they're going to hold a conference together. We've done a few ref videos this year, and you guys loved them. Well, probably hated them. But you commented and gave a crap ton of thumbs up reactions, so we appreciate that. The ACC has had officials that constantly screw over their bigger brands like FSU, Clemson, North Carolina, and Miami. And that just doesn't happen in the SEC, nor the Big Ten, where 50-50 calls seem to go the way of the bigger brands more often than not. Now, is that right or wrong? I don't know. But I do know that those conferences protect their bigger brands. That's not the case in the ACC. The ACC can't figure out how to schedule competently. They put every big game on their entire schedule this year in one month. Clemson, Wake, North Carolina State, and FSU all played a jumbled up October this year. And they all played each other within a few weeks. After beating each other up and giving no room for error, teams were bruised and fell from the rankings. They gave FSU a Wake Forest game right before having to play at North Carolina State and then host the Clemson Tigers. If FSU plays Wake in November, they win by 20. But they can't get scheduling right and give teams little to no chance to play a competent schedule at all. And they do this to their own detriment. 
if Florida State had played Wake Forest later in the year, they'd be 10-2 and two right now. It'd be a bump for the conference. It would make the conference look better, but they're incompetent, and so this hasn't happened. Heck, the SEC schedule for the 2023 season has already been out for months. The ACC's comes out in February. They can't even get a schedule out in proper time. We don't know when it'll happen. We don't know where FSU will go. But I am confident that Florida State is out of this conference before 2036. FSU's AD, Michael Alford, seems to be positioning the Knolls in a great place. And he's been speaking lately on how the revenue that FSU brings in is in fact higher than most Big Ten or SEC schools when you exclude conference distributions, which is obviously much lower in the ACC. All in all, the Knolls are in good shape. They're an attractive and increasingly valuable brand that's polished off a bit of dust here over the last season. The same can't be said for the ACC, and I couldn't be happier about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think FSU is out of the ACC soon? Do you have a preference on which conference we go to? Let me know below and we can chat about it there. Quick shout out on Cyber Monday for Garnet and Gold for you FSU fans as well. If you're shopping this holiday season, we've got less than four weeks until Christmas, do me a favor, shop at garnetandgold.com and use code NOSLAW, N-O-S-L-A-W, to save 15% at checkout. You're going to shop for FSU gear this season, whether it be for Christmas or the bowl. Support a family-owned business and give back to some great Knowles. Again, NOSLAW, N-O-S-L-A-W, at checkout at garnetandgold.com. Again, we very much appreciate you tuning in. We appreciate you checking out the video and coming to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and you like the content. You're always welcome to share it. But most importantly, we'd love to interact with you down below in the comments. Let us know your thoughts on the ACC, how Florida State finished up their year this year, Mike Norvell, and the, the program that he is building right now. Let us know what conference you want to go to. Do you think it's the SEC? Do you think it's the Big Ten? No matter what. Let's hear from you down below. We will talk to you guys soon. We've got a whole bunch of recruiting and transfer portal news coming up very soon. December is going to be crazy, so make sure you're subscribed. We will talk to you all soon. Until next time, go Knowles.